Welcome everyone! Today we're diving into Photoshop to create a beautiful and simple project called a sunset silhouette. This is a perfect beginner friendly scene to help you learn the basics of Photoshop's tools and interface. Let's get started. First we need to open Photoshop. Once it's launched go to the top menu, click on file and then new. You'll see a dialog box where we can set the dimensions of our document. For this project, set the width at 1920 pixels and height to 1080 pixels. Make sure the resolution is 72 pixels per inch and the background contents are set to white. Once everything is set, click Create. Now let's create our sunset background using the gradient tool. Find the gradient tool in the toolbar on the left. It looks like a rectangle filled with a gradient. If you don't see it right away, right click on the paint bucket tool to find it in the drop down menu. At the top of the screen you'll see a gradient bar. Click on it to open the gradient editor. We're going to select colors that transition from a deep orange to a light orange to mimic the sunset colors. Click on the color stops below the bar to change them. Set one to a deep orange, like FF4500, and the other to a lighter orange, like FFD700. Or you can select the ones that are pre-done. Click OK. Now apply the gradient by clicking at the bottom of your canvas, holding down the mouse button, and dragging it upwards. When you release the mouse, you should see a beautiful sunset gradient. With our background set, it's time to create the silhouette. Go to the Layers panel on the right side of your screen. If you can't see it, go to the window and select Layers. Click the New Layer button at the bottom. It looks like a square with a plus sign. Let's rename this layer to Silhouette. Just double click the layer name and type the new name. Next, select the Brush tool from the toolbar. It looks like a paintbrush. Right click on the canvas to adjust the brush size. Choose a soft round brush, around 50 pixels in size. Click on the color square at the bottom of the toolbar and select black as your brush color. Now start drawing a silhouette at the bottom of your canvas. This could be a tree, a person, an animal, or even a simple hill by painting the bottom of the canvas black. To add more detail, we'll use the eraser tool. Select the eraser tool from the toolbar. It looks like a small eraser. Right click on the canvas to choose a small, soft edge eraser about 30 pixels. Use the eraser to refine your silhouette. You can create spaces between tree branches, define the shape of a person's legs, or add small touches to give your silhouette more character. Now, let's add a sun to our sunset scene. Go to the Layers panel and click the New Layer button again. Rename this layer to Sun. Select the Elliptical Marquee tool from the toolbar. It might be under the Rectangle Marquee tool, so right click to find it. Click and drag to draw a circle near the horizon line. Hold down the Shift key to make a perfect circle. Set your foreground color to a pale yellow, like FFFF99. Then, select the Paint Bucket tool, and click inside the circle to fill it with color. Go to Select and click Deselect, or press Ctrl D, or Command D on a Mac, to remove the selection lines. Great job! Now, let's save our masterpiece. Go to File and click Save As. 
choose a location on your computer, name your file Sunset Silhouette PSD, and save it as a Photoshop file to keep all your layers for future editing. So if we save it as a PSD or a Photoshop file, we can go back and add to our silhouette. To save your project as an image to submit, go to File and click Save As again. Choose JPEG from the File Format options. Give your file a name and click Save. You can adjust the quality if needed, then click OK. Congratulations! You've just created a beautiful sunset silhouette scene using Photoshop. Today, you learned how to use layers, gradients, brushes, and selection tools. These are fundamental skills that will help you tackle more complex projects in the future. Don't be afraid to experiment with different colors and shapes to see what other creative possibilities you can discover. Thank you for joining me and happy photoshopping!